Hi folks, I'm back. Today I want to talk to you guys about the difference between wrong and right, or right and wrong. It doesn't matter, but I'm here to tell you the differences between the two. Let's talk about the wrong. First and foremost, when you do wrong, what, what happens? It makes you feel bad, and not only that, it affects others around you. It makes people, others, feel bad as well. It affects the quality of your relationships, and it affects your environment. And you've heard that saying, whatever goes around, comes, whatever goes around, comes around. So if you're letting off bad karma, then the karma will come back to you. The same thing applies on the flip side of things, which is the good. When you feel good, when you do good, sorry, you feel good. Not only that, that aura that you let off will have an impact on others around you as well. It'll make them feel good, whether it be in that, um, direct or indirect. And it will impact the quality of your environment and your relationships with people around you for the better. In fact, good, by doing good, it increases more and more good, and good will come into your life. As you know, that I've just said, karma, whatever goes around comes around. The same sort of thing applies to when you're doing good. Now, check this out. This is where you've got to be mindful of. Because when you're used to doing so much bad, the bad becomes a norm. Then at that stage, you won't even be able to, to take to, what's that word I'm after, to differentiate between right and wrong, because bad will seem good to you because you're so used to bad, you won't even feel the effects of bad, by you doing bad, it will just be a normal thing, by harming others, by belittling them, but just think about harm on so many different levels, it will feel normal to you, until it happens to you, or until it happens to someone who is very near to you that you care for, then you will feel the effects, whoa, hang on a second. And sometimes you might not even take the message. You might not even understand what's happening. Now check this out, until you've been wiped off the face of the earth. That's what I'm talking about, people. You want to get to a stage where you're not too contaminated. You're able to identify what is right, what is wrong. What, if you've, a feeling is a good indicator where you're going. So if you're doing something good, it'll make you feel good. If you're doing something bad, then it will tell you, it will indicate for you to stop. Stop that. It's very harmful for yourself and harmful for others out there. So those are indicators. You don't want to reach a stage where you've gone cold, where you're just stone cold and you can't even differentiate between the two. Because when that happens, you're in a terrible state. People. It's better to be submerged in a whole load of good, whole load of good. Let that submerge you. That is a better position to be in than in the bad. But, but, there's a but. The big but is this. When you're submerged in so much good, you tend to be blinded by the bad because you can't really judge if you can trust this person or not. You just think a bad person is a good person. And they can end up hurting you. They can end up harming you. So you have to be mindful. You have to be, be mindful on both levels. So let's take a quick recap. What I'm trying to tell you and bring to your attention is this. When you're in a state of contamination, when you're at your, your highest contamination of negativity, it's very hard to come out of that because every bad act that you do will seem good, will seem normal. So be mindful of that. Be mindful. Um, and I've also stressed about the indicator, the indicators of feeling. Whatever, you, whatever type of action you do, if it makes you feel good, then keep at it. If it makes you feel bad, then stop. And also, I've discussed the level of good. When you're at good and you're submerged, you're merged into the good, be mindful of the bad as well. Because you may not be able to tell who is who, who is out there to harm you. So you have to be... It's all about that balance. Find that balance. I thought I might just bring that to your attention, people. I know I've gone on and on, and I've said pretty much the same thing over and over again, but I've said it in a different way. But as long as it's there to bring to your attention, so it's there to bring to your attention so you guys can be mindful, just in case if you've forgotten. People, that's all I have to say. By all means, keep tuning in. Stay tuned for more up-and-coming videos and materials. Until then, take care, stay strong, stay focused. And always live to learn to empower and inspire the lives of many, as well as yourself. Bye for now.